We're getting closer and closer to the full launch of FIFA 23 and with that the ones to watch promo. So today I wanted to talk about the best players to invest in for the full launch for ones to watch and kind of just do a little bit of a market update from the investment video we did two days ago uh, and just kind of talk about what we can uh, look to get into now as opposed to a few days ago because we have had a lot of market action uh, in the last couple days so yeah let's get right into it so obviously uh, the big thing is metas continued to fly um, cards like Erling Haaland are basically set at 200k now uh, everything is super high uh, as far as meta cards go and then you look at just the high rated like fodder cards and these cards are on the floor so we have a really big gap right now in between the great cards and just the okay cards and this creates a really interesting uh, I guess interesting investment dynamic I guess so anyways as you could see a lot of these cards are pretty high in price they actually um, were much higher on Wednesday morning like Darwin Nunez got up to like 12 or 13 K uh, Gabriel Jesus was nearly 20 so some of these cards are starting to come down and this is gonna happen with fluctuation of course uh, we do have the introduction of Valverde's gold card now because we did get the brand new team of the week two uh, in which we see a nice Mo Salah I know Marquinhos is in there uh, and what that means is that those gold cards are now out of packs so Marquinhos he's actually one that I'm interested in uh, as far as metas go I guess we'll do a quick little topic on him uh, I do want to take a look and kind of watch Marquinhos's gold card over the next two days he's actually a really good center back selection he currently sits at 75k but he's out of packs now which which means if we get any real panic uh, heading into the one swatch promo with the full release of the game if you see like this Marquinhos card drop down to you know 65k again this is a card I definitely would look to pick up because with no supply coming in he's gonna keep a high demand I think uh, you know for just a one pace boost difference really is the only main thing uh, from 200k to 75k I just don't really justify in an extra 125k in doing so so I think many people will stick to Marquinhos's gold card not to mention he's got great links and the other big name that a lot of people would have in their team is Mo Salah of course uh, who currently sits at 235k now again he is still very expensive he's going to continue to rise but if you do see some panic on this card within some some time this week definitely go ahead and pick him up because people are going to use this card his card is absolutely insane this year although I'm not a huge fan of the three star weak foot I still think that he should have been four star four star um, but still uh, just keep an eye on his card because he'll definitely be one where if he dips down like 200k go ahead and pull the trigger and buy this card because he will go back up uh, very nicely because again he's out of packs now on the rest of the meta cards guys I think you got to avoid any of these kind of low tier these low rated ones like Rafinha uh, Rashford Dembele Tushimeni stay away from them in my opinion I think that you saw a huge rise in all these cards because a lot of more hardcore players uh, started buying these cards and adding, you know, getting their starter teams together. And they're going to be looking to upgrade to those top tier cards like Mo Salah, uh, Mbappe, Neymar, etc. You guys know what I mean. Um, so when that kind of happens, you're going to see a lot of these cards kind of start dying out in price. You know, cards like Zakaria, they're not going to hold this value for too long. Rafinha is not going to stay at 40k forever. Uh, the only cards that m probably will stay um, pretty high for a long time is a card like Usman Dembele but even then at 100k for an 83 rated card that is going to get packed a lot in the next couple weeks uh, you do have to be careful because that price will come down too so please guys just kind of be aware of that now looking at more investment cards and cards that I would really just I would invest a lot of my coins into these cards at this point go ahead and buy any of these high rated fodder cards I mean just the other day we were talking about Harry Kane uh, he sat at 11k he's now 20k I still think a lot of these cards are actually really just too low uh, 87 rated Rodri Verratti Fabinho these cards are still too low at 87 rated 86 rated uh, 88 89s they're still too low for me I think at 89s a fair price for them would be about 30k uh, looking at like Harry Kane Kimmich and stuff uh, 88s I still think you know around 20 30k range as well I mean honestly they should be much higher uh, but there is no SBC demand now the reason why I say you guys should go and pick these up throw them into your teams this game is so much slower than previous FIFA's it seems and I actually like that 
because this actually makes cards like Rodri useful, cards like Modric useful. So honestly, guys, go ahead and throw some of these guys into your team, especially these high passing center mids. Just use them. They'll go up in price eventually. Uh, I really like these as kind of a, you know, you can use them and invest them. I think Laporte is a solid choice. I know they're not the greatest center backs. Um, but Milinkovic Savage, for example, I'm surprised at how low this card is. Yes, he has 68 pace, but these other stats are just so good. Uh, his positioning is really good. His work rates are really good. He's got five star weak foot. Um, he's a great 86 choice. And I think what's going to happen is when you see this casual player base finally get onto the game, what's going to end up happening is they are <laughs> they're not going to be able to afford Rafinha for 40k or Usman Dembele for 100k. They're going to go ahead and take a look at some of these higher rated cards that are kind of down which is why i think that they make for good investments you could throw them in your team one they're used for sbcs and i think casuals will use them in their teams to start off and you're going to see a little bit of a burst in price in a lot of them as for the ones to watch promo i guess the best advice i can give you is um, you, you can go ahead and buy any of these guys that you know are going to be going out of packs like Erling Haaland. Uh, I really wouldn't bother with him, but this will this will be a card that will be extinct. He'll go to 220k when he does go out of packs. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and you can make a free extra 20k on each of them, go ahead and do so. But I'm not a huge fan of that, but he probably will go extinct, even though I, I don't know if he really should with 3-star, three 3-star. Three uh, I know a card like Raheem Sterling, he's going to be getting a once to watch card. Uh, I don't even know what his price is. He's currently 66k, uh, and it seems that he's kind of priced that in, so a lot of these cards, it might be too late to even get into them. For example, Sterling, you know, he's doubled in price in the last two days. I don't think it's worth it, but hey, maybe he does have a little bit more room to rise. Again, it's kind of a risky one. I'm not a huge fan of ones to watch investing just because a lot of these people get the information beforehand through leaks and stuff. So these cards are already, you know, the time to buy them was when leaks were still private. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, hit the subscribe button, ask any questions down below. I will answer them as soon as I can. And until next time, peace.